Communicate to your employees in writing. It's the same reason I say that a handwritten note, if I receive it from you, means so much more than a text. If I receive your thoughts in the form of a letter, that you actually sit down, no ghostwriters allowed, okay? Write the letter in your own language, send it to me. I feel like I get to know you. So number one, copy my methodology, write a letter every Sunday, number one. And number two is this idea, it's, it's meant to be, to be like Austin Kleon writes, you know, uh, uh, steal like an artist. Steal my idea and make it your uniquely better version of a Sunday thought. So don't be shy about hearing this and, and trying it out yourself. But then how do you do it? And, and the answer is, who says there has to be some rules for what a Sunday letter needs to be? Some of my letters are, uh, are, are stories from when I was young about playing tennis and a certain coach and what he said to me and why I think it's interesting. Some of my letters are, um, are I'll, I'll read something about a philosopher and I'll find it interesting and I'll share it. Some of my letter is, I heard a story once that, uh, that the Kennedy family, when they got punished, the way that they got out of their rooms when they were young was memorizing a poem. And so I shared my favorite poem. I'm sharing the stories that are making my life uh, that are coloring in my life, that are making it my life uh, fulfilling and interesting. And I'm sharing them in a way that lets me riff on an idea, translate that, that idea to how it affects you, the reader, and then also relating it to uptake, relating it to the journey that we're on. So my broadest advice to a, a, a new CEO or, or an existing CEO when it comes to writing a weekly letter is, how does where you are in your life, um, Mrs. Uh, or Mr. CEO, how does where you are relate to where the company is? I wanna know that if I'm uh, an employee, an investor, uh, I wanna know where, how you, the CEO, relate to us, the company. I wanna know where you think we're going. I wanna be reminded why we're doing this. And I wanna be reaffirmed about what you see. And if, it's, if you see bad things, tell me. So the letter is a way to, to sort of be authentically yourself in a, in a level of, of discipline that is sadly eroding from our world. Just take time to write, if you will, long form. My letters are 700, maybe 1,000 words, sometimes 1,500 words. My kids would tell me, my kids get these letters. I send them to my kids as well, so I can teach my kids what I'm thinking as well. But my kids would tell me they're too long, so I make some of them very short uh, to mix it up. But I want to know what the CEO is thinking, and, and a, a weekly letter is an extraordinary way to force that activity with the discipline that a CEO probably covets. It's an expectation that's self-defined that I owe it now. It's part of what I do for everybody and really ultimately for myself. And how much time would this take? How much time do you spend crafting your Sunday thoughts, your Sunday letter? That's, so the time that I spend on a Sunday letter, um, I suppose it starts with how often I'm thinking about what I read or what I, who I talk to. Or I write down, I'm at a conference and I hear something, I write it down. That might be the source of a Sunday thought. So it's on my mind a lot. But on a Sunday evening or you know Sunday afternoon, I probably spend between one and sometimes three hours because I'll do research or I, I, might, uh, I might do a draft that I don't love, but it's worth it time. It's quiet time for me. It's time that my family knows it's, it's my time. Ultimately, it becomes their time because they get to read it. They get to, they get to know me better, ultimately. So that it's an it's not, I'm not spending time, I'm investing my time in a way that reaps rewards from all the people that uptake and deeply from my family. My parents read these letters too. So they get to see where my head is, even though they're, you know, they're you know, hundreds of miles away. So there's something, I think, old fashioned perhaps, profound, poetic. Uh, there's something about a letter that's magnificent. Even if you have self-hatred about your writing ability or you, you know, you, who cares if it's written perfectly? It's yours, it's yours. And it's more than a text. It's more than a chat, it's a letter. And I so deeply recommend uh, CEOs to give themselves and their employees and, and, their, and their worlds, their personal and professional worlds, the gift of their thoughts on a consistent basis through a letter.